Next, I want to talk about the sequencer. Now, the sequencer has a lot of functionality that's accessible via the connection software available from Arturia. But in general, it's a 64 note sequencer. It's got eight patterns. It's super simple to use. Here, I'll demonstrate. And I'm not even a big sequencer user. So uh, let's switch this to record. Now, it's got a rate. But as far as I've been able to tell, you don't really need to pay attention to the rate. You can just record uh, the pattern as you hear it in your head. Now, of course, uh, notating music requires a bit of understanding about note values and rests. And I, I can't really think in this sort of mindset. So I'm just going to play something. We'll see how it turns out, OK? Um, anytime you have a step that you want to be a rest, all you have to do is while you're recording, press the rest, tap rest button and it will insert a step that's a rest, but I probably won't do that this time. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that seems simple enough. Let's see if it worked. I'll switch it to play, and then we'll see. It worked. Okay, that's fun. You're like, well, duh, but come on. I'm just not a sequencer user anymore. But of course, um, you can have a lot of fun with it. Let's speed this up. It's a little bit slow. so sloppy but you get the point yes uh it transposes the sequence depending on what note you press and i know my rhythm is totally sucking there but come on give me a break and remember we talked about earlier how the lfo can be synced to the sequencer And of course, you know, you can continue this. Yeah, and you've got eight of those sequences, and if you get into the controlling software um, that you can tr you connect via USB, you can do all kinds of settings that will aid you in using that sequencer in live situations and how that situ how that sequencer is going to behave under various circumstances. Um, let's see what other patterns they have going on on here. Thank you.
So you can actually control the tempo on the fly by using the tap button. And uh, yeah, you can hear there's a variety of sequences they have built in. You can record immediately over them. And I'm sure, I'm absolutely positive, there's a bunch of people out there who could come up with all kinds of incredible uh, modular connections uh, that would implement this sequencer in ways that would deeply please them. And that's one of the cool things about it, is that you do have that ability to not only program this very simply and very quickly, even on the fly, but you also are capable of modulating various aspects of it uh, in a... Uh, timing that is synced with an LFO where the timing is synced to the sequencer. So the sequencer, I'm sure to many of you, will be a really fantastic and enjoyable tool. Let's go back to the one I made. sequencer also let's not forget that um, there's glide and glide just controls how quickly one note changes from another as you change the pitch the frequency by pressing notes mm -hmm. 